Hi everyone, I hope everybody's doing okay tonight. I just doing this quick video because uh, there's a couple people confused about the enclosure that I did for this machine. Underneath this machine uh, with a huge exhaust or something like that. And uh, many people doesn't know there is a C table underneath it because there wasn't following what's going on with this uh, crazy build. And again, it's a stock K40 machine upgraded with a DSP Anywell's Trusted 708C uh, DSP controller. And again, an analog meter and uh, temperature gauges and a couple switches on it. I'm gonna open this tweet right here real quick and uh, you can notice how everything is arranged inside of the machine. You will notice we're using a 50 watt uh, power supply on it. Here is the main board of the uh, Trozen AWC 708 Charlie um, controller. And back on the wall where the ori original K40 controller was is the 24 volt uh, 50 amp power supply. And obviously here is the arrangement of the external stepper drivers. Here on the seat table, we just decided to fit and screw some um, eight millimeter acne lead screws on each corner of the gantry base of the K40. And then our lead, you will see a couple of extrusions also with another peel of blocks at every end you will see a stepper motor <clears throat> with a 20 by 40 extrusion serving as a guide and a tensioner for the 1350 millimeter long close uh, close loop belt so right now we have achieved around 200 maybe 210 millimeters um, vertical travel on the C table. Here you can notice this, how the pillow box are fit in there. How I drill them, I use just a fixed size piece of acrylic so all of them are exactly in the same uh, the same place. So the best way to do it, uh, sorry about that, is just to fit a piece of a crack here that your peel block can reach almost the very end of your gantry base. It doesn't have to be all the way down, but at least you can leave a gap of three millimeters right here because remember there is another you know this is a like a c-beam type of uh piece of metal so you want to leave some space in order to be able to have a nut on behind this pillow block and do not interfere with your y-axis belt okay so this thing consists of a very basic setup right here. If you notice, there is a acrylic plate here with a lead screw nut on it. This um, particular uh, piece of acrylic, I can give you guys a file, you know. I just designed it and actually it is on open builds. Uh, for everybody on the public from my previous build this uh, lead screw plate you can search it by lead screw plate and you will find it real quick there is a 20 by 20 extrusion right here and what I decided also is just to put a Home Depot three quarter of an inch angle right there just to put a some sort of a piece of metal for a couple purposes. The first one, 
to protect my belts and everything underneath. And also another, um, the other purpose is for the breeding of the exhaust system. Anyhow, so you will see, I'm, I'm sorry, you, you can see right now how deep I can put this thing down and up. So here, between the two pillow blocks, you can fit and obviously from back to bottom onto the sides a full 12 by 12 piece of material but when cutting your machine underneath you need to cut and my suggestion is to cut actually the same area that your main gantry frame is placed on top of it so what i mean by that is my suggestion is to cut exactly where it starts all the way i just leave this thing right here this thing will be gone tomorrow you have to you know take get, get rid of that so the whole thing all the way around let me see if i can show you in this place in uh, on the front area you don't need to do that remember we have that motor right there so we have a limitation on the uh, y-axis um, the, the most travel I have achieved right here is 210 like a safe area because remember I will try to have a laser pointer on the uh, laser head on it so let's see what happens but I think 210 220 it will be the good thing um, on it. So let's put this thing down and let's lift this C table up. So we have the uh, C table almost, I don't know, maybe an inch and a half down from the muscle tip. So the idea what I what we did is another Home Depot piece of a uh, sheet metal. You the drill of a whole set of screws right here. And now we have a bottom area breathable so the fumes can still go down and then we can put our piece of material on top of the extrusion so we have 20 millimeters between the material and the bottom plate and the bottom of the machine is protected obviously you can also do the same thing with pin heads or whatever improvement you can do with this idea. But actually this is the main idea and uh, let me see if I can show you here real quick how we can clear. This is a 12 by 12 piece of a uh, three millimeter uh, plywood. So let me lift this thing up. We are not touching, we are already touching the uh, laser head tip, but from side to side, you can notice, so we still have almost like a eighth of an inch plane between the pillow blocks. So you can have your piece of material 12 by 12, and you can clear the pillow blocks and the bottom of the machine all the way down so you can put whatever you want and it will go all the way down to the limits of what um your lead screws are normally i think the travel will be you know those lead screws are 300s but by the position how the uh pulleys are located the belt and uh, obviously the peel blocks and the uh, lead screw plates are located eh, you will lose like maybe half um i don't know maybe 15 millimeters of it 
So it will be like a 250, maybe 230 uh, millimeters travel up and down. So for a future um, rod hardy device, it will be perfect. So you have plenty of space to put your rotary device with this idea and we no issues at all. So anyhow, I hope you guys like the uh, the idea, you know, the build. And uh, this is it. We just finished this thing out. You can notice this is a translucent, translucent, sorry, um, red acrylic. The exhaust fan, huge, because it was already here. And my father was not computer. He almost ready to get there, and we were in for the CW5000 tuner for, for, uh, for the machine. So whatever question you have, guys, about this uh, idea, let me know. I already posted uh, the amount of uh, materials, but I will be posting the idea in open builds, and again, it's not a big thing to do. It's just a matter of uh, time consuming about cutting your bottom of the machine. And my suggestion, you don't need to do all this thing, you know, with a uh, controller or whatever. You can use the stock machine, but for the uh, C table, you can, with the stock machine, using the stock controller, you can use a device like this right here. And this is a this is a simple stepper motor controller. And here you can connect a C table controller. You can adjust the speed with this knob right here. And you can put a driver right here to control it your motor connectors your power connectors and you don't need to have a dsp controller to have this c table you you can you can have this just simple device to make your c table go up and down but not controlled by your controller it's a separate control but it's only 20 bucks and i think it's from uk and i can post the uh, information about it and uh, you can have your seat table up and down with this thing. It's very, very nice um, and well done uh, piece of board to control a stepper motor. And you don't have to have all this mess here with a huge controller, whatever. I, we just took this thing apart for another machine and put it together right here. So even with the stock K40 um, controller, you can do this um, seat table uh, modification. I hope you guys like it. Any question, just let me know. And I keep you posted. And check this out. I think something new is coming. But who knows what's going to be. But that's the way things started. Just an idea. See ya.